Inmates at Oak Hill Correctional Institution, a Wisconsin minimum security prison, are sharing their talents in an exhibit at Central Library this month. One of the organizers, Jose Vergara, joins us now with more. This is such a unique exhibit. Jose, how did this all come about? Uh, I came up with the idea about a year ago when I realized these men were creating such wonderful pieces of art, music, all these genres of art, um, and I wanted to give them a voice, give them an audience, and started working with different people at the prison and in the community to sure. find a venue for this. So what have the inmates taken away from having this experience? Well, last night we went to the prison and did a preview screening of this documentary mm -hmm. that we'll share this evening at the reception, and the response was incredibly positive. They're just so happy that they're able to share their work with a wider audience, the local community. Um, we're holding a charity auction and all the proceeds are going to Shabazz High School, so they're happy to contribute and give back in some way. Yeah, there were some videos on YouTube that mm -hmm. I watched um, that you've put up there and it just shows, you can see some here, they're so happy doing this. They've really kind of found the craft that they really enjoy and can share mm -hmm. with others, so it's nice to see that. For sure. And be passionate about something and look forward to something. Cause yes. It could probably get pretty depressing Definitely. in a prison. There's monotony there and mm -hmm. I wanted, we, we um, I volunteer with an organization, the Oak Hill Prison Humanities Project, and part of the idea was to give them a concrete end goal, and this exhibition was that. Okay, great. So tonight and through the whole month of March at Correct. Central Library, there will be an exhibit there that you mm -hmm. can take a look at some of their work. What can people expect with the exhibit? Sure. At the Madison Central Library, we're in the bubbler room. We are, we're there the entire month. We'll have the art on the walls, mounted some of the text pieces, are also listening stations where people can listen to the artists, uh, or the writers reading their own works, sure. listen to the music there, some dramatic pieces. It's really a multimedia experience. Yeah, and there's some very talented artists <laughs> and musicians that are taking part in this exhibit. Definitely. Yeah. And then you have an event tonight as well. Correct. At 6 to 8.30 p.m. we have an opening reception in the bubbler at Central Library uh, and the special screening of a short documentary that a local filmmaker made about the exhibition at 7. Okay, and that's all free, so you can just yes. swing on by Central Library. That's on 201 West Mifflin Street, and learn a lot more about this program mm -hmm. and how it's helping inmates in our local community be able to uh, really enjoy the arts. And it's yep. artists, musicians, I mean, a whole bunch of different right. crafts that they uh, mm -hmm. have been working on. Everything that they do there, and it's an outlet for them. Okay, wonderful. And then you also have on YouTube a lot of uh, videos as well, so people can right. check out those as mm -hmm. well. And there are links on our website, artistsinabcentra.com, to this web series that a local filmmaker put together for us. Okay. Jose, thank you so much for thank all you for that you do me. for our community, too. This is a really exceptional program. Thank you so much.